Hey everybody, Playtendo Guy here, and I'm back with another video. I haven't done a video for about a proper video for about two weeks now, so I thought, you know what, let's do a quick uh, pickups update video of what I picked up in the past week. I was originally going to do a Blu ray hunt, but considering how busy the like, town centres are, I thought, you know what, best off leaving it till after Christmas. Um, but I do have a decent stack here, so without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, I've got about seven titles here. Yeah, seven titles. Brilliant, I can count. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump right into it. And so the first one I picked up is from Amazon. It was like two quid, and that is I, Tonya. Um, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it won loads of awards, it got rave reviews, and it's got Margot Robbie in it. So it's, it's, it's pretty much a silent itself. Um, it's something to do with it, like an ice skater. I heard it's quite funny i'm i'm not really sure what to expect but i've heard nothing but positive things so i'm really looking forward to watching this one um disc is a bit plain though very plain no, normally you get artwork but hey it's not the artwork it's the film that matters and for two pound it's hard to say no um yeah this next one yeah this next one is certainly an interesting pickup, to say the least. I ordered this one from Amazon, and this was like one pound sixty, I think. So that is Centrinians Two: The Legend of Fritton's Gold. Yeah, I picked up the first Centrinians film uh, about three or four months ago from One Below before they were closing. I got it for like something like twenty p, and I remember watching that one years ago and actually quite liking it. But I've never seen this sequel, and the sequel's got David Tennant in, so I thought, you know what, as it's really cheap, I'll give it a go. Yes. It's probably going to be absolutely awful, but let's see. And as the HMV Premium sale are still in full swing, I should imagine that'll be still going till Christmas Eve. Um... I picked up this film. I know a lot of people have been talking about it, and I think it actually did one hour print for a little while. And that is uh, Eddie Murphy and Dan Ancroyd in Trading Places. Never seen this film, uh, but I did watch a trailer before I went out, and you know what? It looks like a lot of fun. Um, it's basically something to do with like bankers. Um, Dan Ancroyd's quite a successful banker. Uh, making a decent amount of money whilst Eddie Murphy is basically on the streets trying to earn as much money as he can. These two rich dudes basically say, let's have a bet, let's see if these two can trade places and Eddie Murphy do quite well. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching this one. It looks like it's going to be really funny. I'm even surprised to see that it's got Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Yeah, that quite surprised me. Um, also, you do get quite a few special features in this. You get um, director John Landis's uh, on how to make trading places. Um, you also get lots of other like miniature featurettes, if you can see. Um, yeah, this is also a 4K upscale uh, or 4K transfer, so that's really good. So the pictures can be really great. Um, this is like more or less a Christmas film, so it's a perfect film to watch this time of the year. So yeah really happy to have that and the next one is i haven't really got much clue about this one i think this is sort of like a gangster film um so this is lee marvin in point blank yeah i don't really know much about it just know that it's got lee marvin in it's supposed to be like a gangster sort of film lee marvin's basically taking revenge on various people uh dispatching them in various ways this is from the late 60s 67 and it just sounds like it's a really good time. Um, as for special features, there's commentary and there's two featurettes as well as the trailer. So that isn't too bad because normally with most premium films, I notice that you just get the trailer and that's about it. You do get Blu-ray, you do get the DVD, surprisingly, as well as art cards. Um, as for trading places, you get the newly remastered Blu-ray, uh, special features, quite a few of them, poster, and art cards so actually both of them are quite hefty packages she said 
Next up is a film I saw in Sainsbury's. As Sainsbury's been doing loads of films for like three quid. This one was sitting on the shelf and it had a slip cover, so I thought, you know what? Give it a go. It looks like a fun and charming kids film, and that's Abominable Ab Abominable is Abominable 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 That's better. Uh, yeah, basically it looks like this mysterious creature comes into these kids' lives and they just have like an adventure. The animation looks superb and I remember when it came out it actually did get quite a few rave reviews. Um, it's actually a DreamWorks film. I, I honestly haven't really heard of that studio for quite a long while since like the last Kung Fu Panda or Madagascar. Um, so yeah. Uh, you do get two short films with this as well as deleted scenes, uh, animate and abominable and a few other special features. Uh, just over an hour and a half. So with the slip cover, brand new, three quid, you can't say no. It is uh, also from same sprees and these are both on like the iconic moment slips. And uh, the first one is a film I've never seen and it's already on my like top 10 films I haven't seen video which should be in the, I'll leave a link in the description or put in one of the place cards, wherever. Um, this one is one of the main ones, and that's Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Yeah. It says on here, we all go a little mad sometimes. I do like these slips. I think they're really good. I love the style of them. You get, like, uh, basically an object or a, a bit of a film with a nice a quote. They just go really nicely, and they all lined up with, um, like, different colours. So I've got about 10 or 12 of them now. But yeah, this is Alfred Hitchcock's classic, uh, Bates Motel, Norman Bates. Never seen it before. Well, I have seen bits and pieces of it, but never the full film. So I'm glad to have that in the collection. And the final one I picked up is also from Sainsbury's. And this one's also on the Iconic Moments range. This one stars Paul Newman in Cool Hand Luke. I have no idea what this is about. It's quite a classic and I'm looking forward to watching it. And again, like with Psycho, it was only a quid. So, hard to say no. So yeah, that's the original artwork and that is the lovely slip. So yeah, that's all the pickups I've had in the past week. So, here we go. Yeah, not, not a bad little selection if I do say so myself. So anyway, um, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be totally awesome. And as always, till next time, bye.